Hello everyone, this is a quick video about a CPU upgrade for a PC that was featured on my first video, which was about building a mid-range Skylake PC. We're doing a comparison between two CPUs, between Intel i5-6500 and i7-6700K. Check out the info card above for a link to the previous build video. Just before we begin, I want to clarify that we're doing the benchmark with a PC with the following specs. All the tests are done using an identical environment. So let's dive to the benchmarks. First, let's start with the PC Mark 8. Obviously, you can see an increase of scores, upgrading from i5-6500 to i7-6700K, and even more when we overclock. That's presented in Home, Creative and Work benchmark. For home and creative benchmark, that's a 10% push from i5-6500 to i7-6700K. Now for the next set of benchmark, we're gonna use 3 Mark. Starting with the Skydiver benchmark for regular and casual gaming, there's about 25% gain. Next for the Fire Strike benchmark, which rely heavily on the GPU, we see gain less than 10%, and it dips down even further when scoring for a 4K benchmark to about 2.5%, which is negligible by some standards. For the next test, we're using Geekbench, which is targeted purely for testing the processor. Single core benchmark is about 20% increase for the base i7-6700K, and about 33% increase for the overclocked version. That's obviously expected when we bump up the clock speed from 3.2GHz to 4GHz, then to 4.6GHz. But for the multi-core benchmark, now that we're factoring in the number of cores, and the fact that each core of the i7-6700K is hyper-threaded, so we're not surprised that we're seeing 65% to 83% gain to the base i7 and the overclocked i7 respectively. And finally, here's some interesting tests. Content creators will find this test very useful. What I've done here is comparing Encona and Premiere Pro CC using the built-in YouTube preset 1080p and 4K, which encodes using H.264. I'm encoding using the same exact 30 seconds video, which is filled with effects and 1080p video clips. We're looking at a staggering 45% faster encoding time for both 1080p and 4K. I was also hoping to compare some games but I keep getting bottlenecked on the GTX 780 GPU rather than the CPU which isn't ideal for CPU benchmarking. But overall I'm having a fantastic experience with the upgraded processor. So that's it guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, that would help me a lot. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later.